Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Cup of Dusk once again. My name is Roy Zogaro, that are as always. And tonight, we're having some fun. So I hope you guys are uh, strapped in, ready for a nice cup of coffee to bring the night down, and uh, ready to enjoy yourselves. Because here at the Cup of Dusk, uh, you, you know, we, we drink coffee at the cafe. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say there. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, uh, I appreciate you all being here. Uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. Hello, Mr. Roo. Welcome into the stream. I hope you're doing well. Always good to see uh, fresh faces. Hey, Blink. Thank you for subscribing and ordering yourself a nice cup of coffee. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Ooh, uh. What's today? Thursday? Yeah, I guess we're almost there to the weekend. We're definitely, uh, we're definitely getting close. Almost there, guys. We can finally kick up our feet, relax a little bit, enjoy some coffee. I heard you guys were hiring. Oh, well, you know. No. The, the answer is no, I'm not hiring. I barely make any money off of this place as it is. Not with all the, uh, you know, having to pay for all the construction because of the, the destruction. Uh, plus, I have to pay Crimbo for protection. Uh, I have to pay back all the contracts that I owe money on. It's it's a rough time. So, remember to order some coffee now, right? <laughs> oh. But I think I'm hearing something. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like it's coming from the back room. Oh. Well, that was a lot louder. Hello? Well, you, you're, I think you're out of the mocha sauce in the back now. Who, who are you? <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm, I, and you need to order some more muffins. The muffins are really good though. What? Hold on a second. <laughs> who, did you eat all of the stuff back there? Mm-hmm, it was pretty tasty. It's a lot fresher than the stuff you've been putting out in the dumpster in the back. I would suggest maybe freshening up your stock for the dumpster. What do you mean freshening it up for the dumpster? That's not the point of the food for the... Who are you? Yeah, I mean, you always put in back, like, some pastries and some coffee powders back there. It's good pickings, but I wanted something a little bit more, you know... A little bit uh, less moldy, so I decided I'd sneak in the back. You know, well, you don't I, mind, do ya? I do. I do mind. I don't even know who you are. Are you, <laughs> are you eating through my trash? Yeah, I, I'm a possum. That's what I do. Oh, it. It looks like you actually have a little bit of trash on your on your head still. Um, is that? Uh, oh, it, is mm -hmm. that is that normal? Mm -hmm. Don't touch the banana. Oh, uh, okay. My my my, my bad. Oh, uh, uh, that's, it's that's a neither. fashion excitement. It's, this, is, this is this is a I'm saving it for later. I've been saving it for later for a while. The so. banana peel you're saving for later. Yeah. The peel it specifically looks, the it peel. Looks, it looks cute though, right? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know the, the the yellow really brings it. Who are you? My name's Peony. Peony. Yes. Yes, I am Peony. I am an opossum. Thank you so much for having a delicious cafe in my area. And thank you so much for throwing out the amount of food you do because that's good. That's some good stuff. I don't for 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 like for like eating things like in the trash. I kind of understand, but like you're not supposed to come into the in into the cafe itself and eat the fresh things. What am I supposed to sell to the customers now? Oh, this is an actual business. Well, well, yeah. Would you just think I was throwing out food for the heck of it? Kinda. Have you ever seen a cafe that's just thrown food into a dumpster? Yeah, because they leave it out for me. Specifically for you? Yeah. Cause oh. That's kind of the rules. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. You take your your delicious treats. You leave it out for me because I'm cute opossum. So there's like a like a cute tax, if you will. 
Yeah. Oh, see. I, I guess it's a good way of putting it. Acute I just tax. Thought, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm, I might have to, you know, call someone. Um, seeing as you stole a bunch of food from me. I mean, I wouldn't put it in those words exactly. I mean, it, it feels it it feels like you you definitely stole food from me, considering the mess you left in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get Kerbo on the I line. I don't know. No, 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 no. You don't have to tell my boss. You don't have to tell. Wait, he's your boss. You know Krimbo? Yeah, of course. Oh, I guess that makes sense if you're from this area. He he kind of. <laughs> He kind of knows everyone, but also the arcade's just a really cool place to hang. Uh, he's got some good, he's got good snacks over there too. Well, that's good. I mean, an arcade having snacks is kind of like, it's like, it's like that epitome of like 90s, you know, like that, the good popcorn, yeah. like a hot dog. Yeah. He's got the good stale popcorn. And then he <laughs> also has like a lot of like, he gives out this like slime as a prize. Oh. Like I actually learned how to make some, but uh, I mostly, I mostly have that as like a little, a little dessert sometimes. You eat the slime? Isn't it made from glue? Mm-hmm. That's what gives it a delicious texture. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to eat the slime. Hmm. It's pretty tasty. You haven't tried it yet. Well, no, I mean, like, I've I've seen the slime, I've heard the slime, I've felt the slime, but I've never eaten the slime. It's glue. I, like, I feel like that would kill me. I don't know. I just eat whatever is usually in the garbage, so I haven't really got that sick off anything yet. Well, I hope you haven't gotten sick off anything I've thrown out yet. <laughs> no, definitely not. You got some good supplies here. Okay, well, no, I, I guess I can take that as a compliment, I guess. I mean, since you're an actual coffee shop now that I learned, can I have a cup of coffee? Are you going to pay for it? Mm. All right, you know what? I'll let you have one because I see some other customers are waiting for some. <laughs> for some all right, hold on one second. Let me just let me just come over here. All right, give me one sec. All right. <clears throat> Make sure it's got like a lot of caramel on it. I like the caramel sauce. Oh, oh actually, you might be out of caramel sauce. I I'm out of caramel sauce too? <laughs> Come on. But I love caramel though. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Come on, Peony. Like, <laughs> I, th I thought, oh my God. Hold on. I, what didn't you have? Hmm. Um, I ate whatever chocolate chips that was. I don't know what you would use chocolate chips for, but I ate most of those. For baking. Uh -huh. Oh. To make things that taste better than just chocolate chips raw. I don't know. Have you ever ate a chocolate chip by itself? It's pretty tasty. Oh, I, I definitely have. <laughs> I definitely have. Well, uh, right, let we me. had some like little re like, cr like little cranberry thingies, and those are good. Uh, the matcha is pretty good, actually. Is there any matcha left? You should. I don't. I tried eating it without mixing it, but it's a little too powdery by itself. So yeah, I kept coughing everywhere. Yeah, I kind of got it all over the back, though. I kind of spilled it by accident. Oh, I saw it. I saw the mess. <laughs> up here. Right. You know what? It's it's gonna be plain coffees for everybody, okay? And uh, I, I see uh, one of our one of our esteemed guests, Vasquez. I see you ordered some coffee too, and uh, it incinerate uh, with a caramel hot chocolate. Well, it sounds like I'm out of caramel. You said you yeah. you, you used all the caramel, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Is there something else I can get you incinerate? I'll, I'll I'll get started on that coffee for you in the meantime. Oh shit! Make sure you. Give them like some really good big cups of coffee. Well, I mean, I'm trying to, but I just dropped one. No. You, you, got, you got me all angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you get angry. I mean, you used all my best stock. I can't give these customers what they asked for. Why would you leave the door unlocked in the back if you didn't want customers in the back? Because the front door was locked. The front door is locked. The front door is definitely locked. How'd you get I in never, there, the window? It was something on lock by there. It was like, yeah, the window was kind of wedged open. That's just asking to be invited in though, I think, right? That's like that's like saying I, I put 
trash out so I was inviting you in. Yeah. That's how it, that you did though. I I, I don't mm, Okay. <laughs> you know what? Here's here's your coffee. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> And Vasquez, you all... your coffee, and um, I think Mr. Cryptic, it sounds like you ordered just a coffee cup. There you go. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Just the cup, wow. I mean, they said just the cup. I don't I don't know in, in, entirely what it is they need the cup for, but I, I feel like the coffee is kind of like the best part of the cup experience, if mm -hmm. you will. I am actually, I find myself, I'm more for like the sweet stuff. The sweet stuff, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big yeah. fan of the sweet stuff speaking too. Speaking of, speaking of, can I get a huge dollop of whipped cream on this this coffee? Sure. Um, give me one sec. I, need... I you should have some cream left. I didn't get to all of that yet. Oh, here, let me let me grab from the back real quick. Hold on. <laughs> oh, uh, don't don't drink or eat anything else while I'm in the back, okay? I'll see what you have. In no, don't. Just, hey, you already like cleaned me out of a lot of stock, okay? <laughs> I don't, I don't need you just stealing more stuff. Okay. 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 I'll okay. Be okay. Paid, I'll be paid. All right. Let me, let me get the whipped cream. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe talk to a couple of customers while you're here. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Peeny. If you didn't know, yes, I, uh, I live in a dumpster behind a Taco Bell, and I like to go and do my rounds around town and go visit the dumpsters and see what goodies people leave out for me because you know if you throw it out it's automatically mine that's kind of how it works yep know. that is definitely it seems how it works in, yeah. in these parts yeah. well uh i have a little bit of whipped cream left uh it's like a day old it's not bad but it's it's not as fluffy as it probably was mm, yesterday so it's aged whipped cream that sounds delicious i, I mean a aged might be pushing up to here. Uh, you just you just want it right on top of your coffee? Yes. All right, hold on. <clears throat> all of it. Well, I, I, I can't give you all of it. That's I, I need it for the other customers. Mm. Okay, okay. I'll okay. Share. I, I was gonna I say you already check. cleaned me out of so many other things. You gotta leave me at least <laughs> the whipped cream. All right, here. Or I'm gonna <clears throat> I just shake it up. <laughs> In incoming whipped cream sound effect. <laughs> That's how whipped cream sounds like, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, Camille Sermon wants some matcha coffee latte. Ooh, I Ooh. love matcha lattes. You did leave me some matcha, so I can definitely get that going. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Kamito coming right up. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned while I'm while I'm working on this, you know, that you are, you know, you're from around here. You 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 frequent multiple, you know, uh, establishments. To see what yes, uh yes. what people have to offer and things like yeah. that. Now, um, <clears throat> where do you think my dumpster lies? Oh, so rate your dumpster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I might as well ask if you're the expert on this field. I would imagine I have to imagine that you're an expert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, of course, I'm an expert. I take my my work very seriously. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. So, so, I would say you like I can mention that you got the good pastries, you got good flavor mixers in there. Um. You're a pretty top tier area, not gonna lie. I think it would be at least an eight. Oh. Nine. I mean, oh. I'm kind of just, I'm a little biased because I personally live behind a Taco Bell and it's kind of impossible to beat the Taco Bell real estate that I have. I'm just that lucky. I was managed to get my dumpster and I always get like the best, the best. Food for my dumpster. But yeah. Sometimes you can't. There's only so many days a week you can eat tacos. <laughs> I mean, generally, the, the, I feel like tacos are saved for you know Tuesdays. You know, Taco Tuesday. Mm, tacos are for every day. Really tacos know. are for every day, except for the days that they're not for. Yes. So, so what days are they not for? When can when can we not have tacos? When you get tired of tacos. You get tired of tacos. So when you're tired of Taco Tuesday every day. Got it. Well, you can't be tired of tacos every day, can you? I mean, no. I mean, tacos are pretty versatile. You can put, like, yeah. chicken in them. You can put, like, beef in them. You can put some yeah. pork in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because the Taco Bell is kind of a limited on their ingredients because they only have, like, eight ingredients that they use throughout their whole menu. <laughs> oh, my God, you're does. right. <laughs> 
Sometimes it gets a little repetitive of Taco Bell specifically. Uh, no offense, Taco Bell. Please still sponsor me if you can. Not not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> For legal reasons, we are not sponsored by Taco Bell. We just enjoy yes, it. Go ahead. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. And I, uh, I really... So I sometimes I'll go to like other places. Like we got like some good... Uh, you know, burger places, we got the arcade, we got your cafe, of course. Uh, 7-Eleven has all kinds of really good packaged goods for like, to throw out sometimes. Oh. Kind of. Yeah, there's a lot of really good places around here to eat. I'm very, very lucky. This is the, okay. best, the best place to live right now, I think. I, I, would, I would say so. We definitely have some uh, some crazy stuff going on in this neighborhood. I mean, mm -hmm. I've, I've had demons come in. I've had literal gods plural yeah. mul multiple gods come in on the regular wow that's probably why if your establishment has that high of quality clientele no wonder you got all the kinds of good stock good well, good good drinks I, and I, food here well i i do appreciate you saying that and, and speaking of which <clears throat> uh gamito swordsman gamito swordsman com, 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 uh matcha uh, latte thing for Kami Toe. Anyway, um, <clears throat> you you were you were uh you were giving me praise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, you, you you don't you don't have to stop. I, I was I was just you know I had I had to do I had to do my my job. <clears throat> but uh anyway uh so we were talking about um taco bell and foods and things like that um and mm -hmm. you know the, you know the high quality of my food but uh anyway uh has there been uh anything that you've partaken in uh recently from the cafe that you've uh, especially enjoyed maybe a, a dessert or a brand of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anything i'm always uh any type of like breakfast pastry like a danish oh. or muffins those are always delicious always gets me going in the morning heck yeah i'm definitely a big fan of uh danishes myself oh no penny penny Nandato! i didn't know she was a wizard too Oh no. Chat, do you know what happened? She just vanished. She was smiling. Everything seemed like it was okay. Oh no. I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe we've done this. Um I I I I guess in the uh <clears throat> in in the meantime, uh welcome in everybody else that's just coming in now. Welcome in Papa Month. I see you. Thank you for being here. Hey new 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 Lee, oh my! I butcher your name all the time. New Lee, New Lee. There we go. Hello, Mr. Roo and Kamito, of course. Oh, and Unity. Hello, hello. Open face sandwich is the only food you can cover all dietary needs. I mean, literally anything that you have is just an open face sandwich at that point. <laughs> I'll sniff her out, but as far as I can tell, she vanished. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know where she went. Do you guys have any idea what happened to Peony? Oh no. I hope I hope that they're okay. Um I, I mean they, they kinda just like vanished out of nowhere. Uh I I, I hope it, it wasn't anything too serious. Oh god. Peony. I didn't even get to know I didn't she didn't pay for any of the stuff that she bought! Oh my god. The amount of damage that's back here, guys. The amount of damage that's back here! Oh my goodness! You guys would have no you guys have no idea how much damage she caused, and she got away scot free. Mm. She literally did rob me. She got in here. She took my food. She took the best stuff. Oh, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe this has happened. Oh. Okay, okay. We're we're gonna try and get things going again. Give it a sec, give it a sec. Okay, okay. Oh Penny, is that you? Huh Penny? Yeah, yeah, I'm <gasps> back, I'm back. Oh 
I was I was worried you know you kind of you kind of just vanished you know it was it was like it was like you, you know like those uh Marvel movies you got like like snapped yeah uh, I had to go run back and um, check on my uh, dumpster real quick I'm sorry sorry oh, you're totally fine I'm glad that you're okay is, is the dumpster okay did, did is everything did, you know did, did anyone steal your stuff well you know there's a lot of raccoon vtubers out there so sometimes you just gotta uh, I'm not saying okay so technically I'm not much of a fighter don't tell anyone though but... you're not much of a fighter no no, well, no, no, no no that's totally fine I'm not much of a fighter either yeah but you can't let people know that because you know I gotta, I have to protect my territory. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, you, you have to protect the territory. Yeah, it's good, but it's just kind of in my nature. I'm uh, I'm not a fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm not really in the flight either. So, because, you know, opossums can't fly. So, so, um, so you play dead. Yes. Uh, what? yeah, because possum. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Now, you, you mentioned, like, fighting, and you mentioned before that you know Krimbo. Does, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do you get him to do your fighting for you, usually? Typically. He's very, very, uh, he's very nice in that way, that he's come up and defend me if needed. <laughs> he is pretty nice about those sorts of things, huh? Yeah. Does, You're very, very lucky that he's here to protect your cool establishment. Uh, does, does he charge you a lot, too? Oh, I don't get charged. Anymore. What? He doesn't charge you any money? He charges me like an arm and a leg. I have to go to the arcade and work for him and join his gang. Really? Yeah. I kind of just signed up because it seemed like a cool hangout place. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I really like arcades too. You know, but like, he's. I have to get an outfit. You know, I have to get the the uh what what was it the the neon night rider outfit. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to pay for it out of my own pocket. Oh, it's so fashionable, though. I bet you look great in your outfit. Oh, well, thank you. I, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I'm, I'm certainly uh, hopeful that that I'll uh, look good in the, uh, the, 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 the outfit. Uh, <clears throat> uh, do you have an outfit uh, for the the Neon Night Riders? You said you uh, joined up as well. Yeah, I do. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely have to check that out sometimes. Unless, unless is, is that is that what you're wearing right now, or? Mm, no, this is kind of like my signature peony look you know this is like the signature my, look yeah i uh, i have you know this look i got you know when it gets a little warmer i got my summer outfit mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i don't have that many clothes because like i hate laundry <laughs> honestly you know you, you you strike a fair point yeah and i i would have i would have uh pointed out your your shirt looks quite nice uh, but now I can't read the text on it because I seem to have dropped my glasses. My apologies. Yeah, don't you like it? I found it, well, you know, because I'm really into recycle or use, of course, when it comes to something I can own like that. So most of my fashion is from, you know, the garbage. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I mean, like, purple's a really nice color. I like all the little patches. That they're, like... I love purple. I did yeah. have to patch it up a little bit, but that's okay. Hmm. And then, you know, my shirt, my cute little shirt here is uh, a takeout bag. Oh, it's a bag? Yeah. Oh, let me, let me, uh, let me crouch down a little bit so I can see it better. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, do, is, is it okay? Like, you haven't like ripped it or, or do you have like a like a ton of them that you can just swap in and out all the time they're pretty easy to find if oh, i okay. do need to replace it so so what kind of place uh did you find it from was it like like a chinese food takeout place or yeah i think it, it was kind of like a little mall court type of situation so uh... i'm not sure which place had the but you know it's like one of those designs or any restaurant pretty much orders <laughs> like the same one from definitely definitely yeah but i think it looks great yeah i i very, I very, very much like it yeah the yellow matches your um uh your your banana see i told you the banana is important it completes <sighs> the ensemble yeah 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 i guess i guess you're right but it does look like we have some uh some new customers coming in so let's take a second and, and thank some new people for being here it looks like we've got uh, somebody else moving in on your territory trying to take garbage out back evil anon guy hey hey i'm 
not, uh, I don't, like I said, I'm not much of a fighter, so <laughs> please don't make me have to do something about it. Do, do you need me to call Krimbo? I'll, no, I'll call Krimbo. No, we'll, we'll be generous. We'll be generous. We'll be generous we'll, this time? We'll, okay, okay, okay. We'll be generous this time. And it looks yeah, like we've got Riley of, the Shadow. Hello, you hello. Can look, you can look, Aunt Evil Anna, but you can't touch, okay? Look, but don't touch. I like that. Good rule, good rule, good rule. <laughs> what do you think uh, of McDonald's dumpster? Ooh, McDonald's is great. I love Nate's McDonald's. What do you... Okay, this is a question that I've heard uh, one of my friends... Let's see would ask all the time like if you had a signature meal for mcdonald's what would be it because you know like how saweetie had like a signature meal and there was um some other artists had some signature meals from mcdonald's oh uh, saweetie's was i think like a big mac with sprite oh oh just just like a meal in general mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh um it depends on how hungry i am I feel like I feel like there's one of two meals that I could go with. If I'm like, if it's been like a long day and I forgot to eat, which happens a lot, um, I'd probably go with uh, it'd be two two of like the plain cheeseburgers, or not not plain, but like the the ba the super basic generic like dollar cheeseburgers. So I get get two of those and either a ten or a twenty piece McNugget. Uh, and the drink doesn't really matter as much because I I'd, I'd probably just make coffee or tea, you know. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. But what about you? Uh, what would you get? Mm, well, I like Big Macs. Uh, I like Chicky Nuggies. Nugs, I yeah. I like, uh, yeah, you gotta get Nuggets. I gotta guess. get them Nugs. I, I don't know. What's, there's something about a McDonald's Chicken Nugget. It's like so tasty. It's the, it's the, the, the crisp. Fries. Yeah, yeah it's, the crisp. See, it's, the, it's the crisp and the crunch, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's whatever is in the fry oil or mm. something yeah because it's you know, probably the same oil yeah they probably intermingle the fries with the chicken so you've got like chicken nugget infused fries probably that is smart yeah but also probably not good for people that are vegan trying to eat like french fries oh i didn't think about that i didn't either until now i wonder if that's <laughs> actually what they do Oh, we just exposed McDonald's. McDonald's, don't sue us. No. We we love your nugs. I we'll, love your nuggies. We'll, we'll keep quiet for a lifetime supply of nuggets. All right? Oh, this is on us. Black yeah, Blackmail Corporation. This of course. Genius. See, I'm I've I've learned I've learned a little bit from uh from Krimbo in my little bit of time that I've known him. Yeah. Always always take it to the big guys and you know take out their kneecaps. It's the criminal mindset. You gotta, it takes a while, but you'll get there. Well, I don't know about being a criminal. You know, I'm I'm a perfectly upstanding gentleman. <laughs> I think I technically count as a criminal now. I mean, yeah, you did like literally go into my back room here and just like eat a bunch of stuff that I was planning on serving tonight. But I mean, you can't. I don't know. I don't know because like You don't know is what it is it a crime to be this cute is what I'm asking. I mean, when you commit crimes, whether you're cute or not, it is still a crime. Most people let me get away with a lot of things. I bet that's why you don't have to pay Crimbo either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, how about this? Um Oh! See? All right, we got we got something in chat that sounds like a, a good defense. I like I like this. Peony, uh, peonies just making sure nothing's going to waste. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's a good way of looking at it. Okay, I like that. Okay. I like that. I like that. You know, when when I when I look at it that way, I can understand. But like uh, the dumpster, I understand. But like why? Like, come on. Like come back here for a sec. Come here. Come here. You want, we need to have a talk. Come here. What? Are come we here. Talking about? Come here. Wait, where are we going? We're going into the kitchen. Come here. Okay. Okay. All right, listen. I understand that you like the food and everything. Hey, li okay, listen. You don't have to put the whipped cream down. Peony, please. It's the last of no, the whipped cream that I have. It's, but it's so tasty. Peony, please. Come on. Mm. The, put the whipped cream down. Don't you can just this order more whipped cream. That's how it I works. have to make it. It's all homemade. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. This is a waste. <laughs> I'm not going to be I able mean, to convince you otherwise. 
typically what happens is as soon as I touch something, people are like, oh, I don't, I don't want that anymore. Well, I mean, I feel like that's not fair to you. I mean, like you, you might have, um, <clears throat> uh, a little garbage in your head, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like that's unfair to judge you based on how you present yourself. You know, you could be the most hygienic, clean person I've ever met. I mean, I, I'm, I really appreciate that you think that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying really hard right now. I'm trying so hard, Peony. Please, like, throw me a bone. Not literally, because I'm afraid that you actually have bones on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do. no. You can get a nice hefty collection of bones. Oh, my gosh. I, I guess that would be a uh, a KFC kind of kind of situation, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. The fried chicken places are so good. The place. fried chicken places, yeah. Now, I have a question for you. Because we're, we're talking about so many different types of food and everything like that. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. are, are there any uh, fast food establishments? Well, we'll, we'll keep it on the topic of fast food. Uh, what's your favorite? If you had to pick one dumpster that you can only eat out of for the rest of, you know, forever. I know you live in a Taco Bell dumpster, mm -hmm. but like, you know, like, and it's dumpster, not dumpster. We're not dumb. We're just stupid. Okay. God, <laughs> I got our backs. Don't worry. People, people be, people be bullying us out here. Oh no. Hmm. We get bullied all the time. But uh, uh, please, uh, uh, one, one fast food place. If you had to pick one to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm, only one? Only one. Oh man, this is a tough decision. I think, what's my favorite? I don't know, I always get an assortment. I'm so used to just being spoiled with, you know, that everyone got like instant access to food now because you know, we Uber Eats. Yeah. So it's, it's so easy to be like, what am I feeling tonight? Tacos, Taco Bell, <laughs> or burgers. We got cool. McDonald's. Um. Let's see. I think I like probably McDonald's. Honestly, I hate to say yeah? that. That's a lame choice, but I mean, it, it's classic though. How I like to think about it when it comes to uh, food decisions, uh, sometimes like the comfort choice, even if it's not the highest quality thing, it's like old reliable, you know. It's going, it's going for that, you that know, easy thing. I think you know what you're getting when you go to McDonald's. Yes, 100%. Also, they have breakfast, and I love the McGriddle. The McGriddle oh. is honestly probably my favorite menu item for McDonald's. It's so good, because the, 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 the pancakes that they get, they get that little syrup in them, so you get it with like the sausage. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so it's good. so tasty. Whoever thought to invent injecting syrup into Pancake buns. <laughs> pancake buns and then making a sandwich out of that. It's genius. Mwah. I applaud you. Oh, the chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Ratatouille Delicious. could learn a thing or two. Let me tell yes, you. Yes, exactly. Just just redo Ratatouille, but like make it about a McDonald's and it's the person that invented the McGriddle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a Ratatouille, but it's all staged in McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fun. Like, like uh, the, the, the rat Remy like takes it like takes it from like mcdonald's quality to like five star like, five star French... michelin mcdonald's yeah five star michelin <laughs> mcdonald's oh my god that would be ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> uh but oh, uh so tasty too i mean the it would... good good mcdonald's the, the good quality mcdonald's i'm sure i'm sure the nugs would be to yeah. die for i would eat out of that dumpster i'll tell you that but much at the, at the same time I, when you go to McDonald's, like you know the quality you're getting. Yeah. Sometimes you just want garbage. Like that's my saying. Sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes you just, need some you just trash want garbage. In your life. <laughs> go ahead, I, treat yourself to some garbage. Sometimes. I wish I could say you're wrong, but when you're so right, you're so right. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. You know. I know. I'm very wise. You know. Very wise, Bossa. <laughs> what about you, Chat? What are some of your favorite places to eat out? I mean, fast food related. Doesn't have to be super fancy. It could be McDonald's. But let us know. In the meantime, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if I have a specific one myself, but uh, I like this McDonald's answer, even though it's like, you know, it's McDonald's. Like, I know, like, <laughs> like you said, you know what you're getting. Like, you're you know you're paying that like dollar for a cheeseburger. You know, <laughs> it tastes like a dollar cheeseburger. <laughs> 
But it's so good. I think so one good. of the things I like about McDonald's is also it's very salty. And I think that's what keeps me going. Oh, yeah, because we're addicted to the salt. Yeah. hundred percent. Oh, we all right. Actually, so we some... I've heard. Oh, what oh was that? I said we have some answers in chat, but please go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to say, I think I've heard from people like coming to specifically like the U.S. McDonald's, like trying out like U.S. specific food. It always they always say it is a bit like saltier and like the portions are way bigger than most other places. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it, it looks like we got some answers in. We got a, a Firehouse Subs. Oh, I can't say I've had them before. They, have you ever had Firehouse Subs? I've heard of them. Um, It's a sub place. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And speaking of subs, we got Subway too? I, I mean... No. Um, I don't want to say I'm picky, but I'm not... I honestly am not a Subway fan. I, I feel like when it comes to Subway, it's like... It's the same thing, like, you know what you're paying for. But, like, mm. in, in that price range, I feel like there are just better things that you could get. Yeah. You know? Like, it's it's not like McDonald's that you're paying a dollar and you're getting a dollar quality burger. But it's, like, yeah. an enjoyable dollar quality burger. Mm-hmm. But that, I, that's just us. If you like Subway, hey, go off, Game Boy. Yeah. Go I think off. one of the big things is probably... There is a little bit of, like, comfort and nostalgia, like you were talking about. Yeah. And so maybe, like, some people just, like, they grew up eating Subway or sometimes, or maybe they just grew up eating Wendy's or Burger King. I personally, I hate Burger King. I think it's the worst of the burger joints. Burger King used to be eat. so good. Like, I remember when I, like, we were talking about, like, the nostalgia. I have mm -hmm. nostalgia for when Burger King was good. And yeah. it just, it just is nowhere near that again. But I they, used to like the Burger King breakfasts because they would have croissant sandwiches. Oh. Which I don't think like any other place that I know of, of the big major chains offered a croissant option. Oh, I didn't even know about that. The, yeah, the secrets here from Peony. But I guess you would know since, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the dumpsters and everything. I, I have, yes, I know. Understandable, I understandable. Um, we got, a, we got another one. It used to be a local burger joint called Steve's Burger, but at the moment I don't have a new one. Fair um, enough. Burgers, burgers do the body good. Yeah. You know, except I for. I would say, always try to go for local burger places if you can. Yeah, definitely. Those are honestly usually like the best. I uh, I was watching this video about like local, how different areas prepare their burgers. And there's a specific burger I want to try. I think it's in like main area or something. And it's like a steamed, it's it's literally steamed ham. Well, like a steamed ham yeah. burger? Yeah, it, no, like, you know, like the uh, <laughs> principal child really said steamed hams. But it's like literally oh. you take the burger patty and you steam it in like a little steamer. And then you have also a separate little steamer case that you put like cheese in and you steam the cheese and so it's like super gooey and you pour it over the burger it looks so good i'm i'm, 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 I'm sure i mean <laughs> <laughs> i feel like steaming a burger that's weird like i feel like you'd lose so much of the flavor from the burger it, this is a neat process because it looks so juicy though like if you looked at the videos oh i'm sure i'll have to look it up later then or, yeah uh, yeah 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 but uh, thank you for guys for, for chiming in on that. Uh, <clears throat> so I just picked up a, a little bit of a beverage here. So I'm going to make myself something. Uh, I'm going to okay. make myself, a, you know, a little, 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 little uh, coffee, a little bit of cream, maybe a mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of a, you know, splash of something like Kahlua or in there. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to drinks, do you have any preferences as I as I make this? Chat, you too, if you've got any preference on drinks like cafe yeah. or maybe an alcoholic drink. You know, don't, don't think alcohol primary. Think alcohol additive because... Uh, <clears throat> I don't, I don't really have a, a liquor license. Uh, I, I shouldn't be selling alcohol. So it's not like you're not oh, ordering alcohol. You're ordering a drink and I'm, I'm, you know, being generous, <clears throat> but, but please uh, continue. Yes. Yes. Okay. So usually my go-to orders at cafes is I like lattes. Mm. Um, I do like a little, I usually like them with the flavors added. Cause I'm, I'm a, I got a sweet tooth, a sweet tooth for a sweetie. But <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it because I was I was definitely gonna say that too. De 100% that was the first thing on my mind, sweetie. Oh, I found my glasses. 
While I was down there. Please continue, sweetie. <laughs> if I can call you sweetie, respectfully. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, um, so I like, uh, ooh. Yeah, there's some good suggestions in the chat already ooh. for good drinks. I, like, like, I usually get a latte, but honestly, I just like so much stuff. I like lots of drinks, and I like to rotate through, like, seasonal flavors. Um, I had, like, a honey lavender last spring that I'm hoping, like, my local coffee place brings back. It was so delicious. Like, lavender, you wouldn't think would go well with coffee, but it was surprisingly wonderful. I guess it depends on the blend of coffee. Like, yeah. if, if lavender is, like, added to the coffee, I could see it, like, not being great. But if it's, like, blended with it instead or, like, planned that way, I could, mm -hmm. I could see it being really good. It was kind of, I guess it might have been like a simple syrup, like a lavender simple syrup. It was still Ooh. very good though. Was it was it made into like a latte or was it just the coffee? It was a latte. Okay, well that makes sense then. Yeah. <laughs> you I did you did I say how much you love them. Yeah, I don't typically go for like straight up coffee. It's a bit too bitter for me. Yeah, understandable. So I feel like my palate in that way is a little, a little juvenile, I guess. If you think, oh. consider like, if you consider having like being more into sweets like here hold on I got, i'm gonna defend you real quick not that you need to, well i guess you, <laughs> sometimes you need defending like you said you're not a fighter <clears throat> all right listen up everybody you can like coffee however the hell you like if you like it with cream great if you like it with sugar great if you like it with both more power to you and if you like it black that's totally fine too no matter how you enjoy your coffee unless it's like 30 creams and 30 sugars then at that point you're probably just having a coma but <clears throat> You know, make make sure that you're enjoying yourself. The 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 things with coffee and drinks and treats and things like that, like enjoy yourself. That's that's the point of it. You're you're drinking this because you want some enjoyment out of it. And sure, people sometimes people like bitter things. I like my coffee black because I like the bitter taste. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm I also love the sweet taste. So I'll, hell yeah, I'm gonna order a a, a caramel uh, a nice uh, caramel macchiato whatever from time to time. I forgot where I was going with that. But yes, uh, you are valid in your coffee decisions and uh, your, your taste buds aren't juvenile. You know what you like. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. I, I honestly, most people, especially coffee people, no offense, usually get really defensive of like, you have to have it like black. You can't add anything to it because then you're muffling the coffee taste. Exactly. And the acidity and all of that with the, with the coffee bean. And it's just like, I just like, I think coffee is super good. Like, especially with chocolate. Mm. Like, I like, like, if you've ever like made it like hot cocos or anything, you can add like a little bit of chocolate or espresso coffee. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It brings out like the flavors. Yeah, 100%. A uh, 100% agree with everything you just said. Yeah. <laughs> See, and we got some people in chat too. They're talking about how like, even though they prefer, you know, strong coffee in the morning to wake them up. We also have some other people that are saying, they have big sweet tooths. They're like us, you know, get those sweet drinks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't ever, you know, you're not juvenile. You just, you've got a refined palate of the most, uh, um, uh, shit, what's the word? Uh, of the most cute proportions. I don't, I don't Thank fucking know you. what's going with that. Well, I always knew I was a refined and classy lady, but oh. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I, well, I, I wanted to be a little humble. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit before you know you ransacked my kitchen <laughs> oh yes i am a most refined woman now give unto me your entire bottle of caramel syrup yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to pay for that you know mm, we'll have that discussion later i might have to talk to some people talk to I... some people yeah <laughs> you make it sound like they're gonna come in here and try and break my kneecaps or something <laughs> Uh... <laughs> well, I'm gonna get Crimbo. Don't don't mess with the boss. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Well, that's that's good to know. Um, you know, you like your you like your sweets. I like my sweets. Uh, and I'm glad that people you know understand that you can have whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're all about uh embracing the different walks of life here. Uh, mm -hmm. some sometimes in a more serious literal sense. Uh, you know, but. Also in the sense of the things that you like uh, in terms of food, because, you know, we went from talking about, hey, McDonald's is amazing and not actually shit to, hey, sweet coffee and, and lattes and macchiatos and things are totally good, too. Yeah. Yeah. How, okay, so what's your opinion on, since you're, 
You're a man that knows his coffee. Ooh. The um, Are you sure I'm a man? You're a bunny that knows <laughs> his coffee. The pod? <laughs> wait, wait, why did you have to pause? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> the boss killed me. I am now. I am dead forever. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <I'm sorry. laughs> <I can't breathe. laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. As you were saying, as as a as a bunny uh, that knows their coffee. Continue. Yes, a bunny. Bunny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's your opinion of, like, I know that, like, and this is just from my experience with past, like, coffee connoisseurs, mm. is they are very, very adamant against Starbucks quality coffee. Uh. Well, how do you feel about Starbucks? I don't think Starbucks is, bad, is as bad as a lot of, like, quote-unquote snobby people uh, make it out to be. But, like, mm -hmm. I, I'm also not out here being like, Starbucks is amazing. You should totally go to Starbucks for every coffee you need. Now, generally, generally, if you're going to Starbucks, you're going for a dessert coffee is what I like to call yeah, it. Yeah. So you're going... That's usually, honestly, that's how what I do is I, get, I like to get those dessert coffees. Yeah. Especially because they change them out every season, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're, you're going out for a treat. Like, mm -hmm. no, one's, no one's going to Rita's. And going like, man, Rita's has shit water ice. It's like <laughs> you don't, you don't like. It's unspoken. You don't, you don't have to say that. Like, it, obviously, it's not the same as Italian gelato. Like, we, we know, but we like it anyway. You know, it's the same thing. Like McDonald's. You know, um, I, I think it is what it is. And you, you, I think it's, I, th I think it's a little expensive. Like, I think they should probably like, in general, cut the the menu prices for by a good portion, but. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I, yeah, that thought. I think they could. Yeah, I, I, I think they'd be safe in cutting some of their their menu stuff, and uh, you know, <laughs> and I'd, I'd just like to see some uh, some cuts across the board. Yeah, because when I go to Starbucks, it's just like, give me like a ton of just caramel syrup on top of uh like a huge portion of whipped cream and just like like the only <laughs> the smallest little drop of coffee because you know. Wow, I couldn't I couldn't tell that you liked whipped cream considering what you fucking did to my kitchen. Ah, are you still going on about this? I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep bringing it up the entire night. You destroyed my kitchen. <laughs> I thought I thought we came to an agreement that it was okay for me to eat what you have here. As a paying you customer, you usually yes, but you know, I, cuteness only pays for so much, you know, Peony. I mean, you just gave me a free coffee earlier. Yeah, yeah, one free coffee with a little splurt of whipped cream, and then you finished off the west, the the west of the whipped cream. <laughs> you got me, you got me running in circles. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, in terms of uh, Starbucks and other places, it sounds like someone wants their PSL back. Oh, the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin I'm, spice. Is that what the the PS pumpkin spice latte? That's what. PSL oh, is that what right? PSL stands for? I was just about to ask that. I was gonna make a peony joke, but. <laughs> a peony spice latte. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a, a peony spice latte. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 usually what happens when I steep myself in the milk. You you didn't you didn't you didn't do that with any of my products, did you? Well, I don't know if I should say anything because, you know, I'm technically not a paying customer, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to have to throw everything out in the kitchen. Great. No, no it's still good. I mean, uh, whoa, what a tragedy. You have to throw out some stuff. Oh, yeah, you sure. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm totally sure that it's a tragedy for you, Peony. You know? I'm uh, there's so There's shit on the walls. It's everywhere! Okay. Well, hey, I'm potty trained. That wasn't me. I don't mean literal shit. I was talking, like, the mess you made. There was, like, caramel sauce and, like, matcha uh, powder. Okay, yeah, that was definitely Yeah, me. that was definitely you. <laughs> oh, Gamer Possum Bath Milk. Oh, I wonder if we could have sold that. Oh, I might have to take some of that with me. I gotta make a profit. I mean, that's, that's, that's always, like all the rage, right? Yeah. I'm always trying to help figure out like a quick way to get a book. So like, 
quick way to get a quick have, buck. Yeah, like me and Crumble have the the money makers that we do sometimes. Where we're, that's our that's the whole deal is we're trying to free, find a way to make a make a dollar real quick. Oh, the money makers. Do you want to do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, yeah. It's been um, a little bit since we've done them because of the holidays and everything, you know. Sure. But. Um, typically, it's we get out, we gather at the arcade, and we come up with some get rich quick schemes. Ooh, have they and, been uh, successful? Um, not yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the the lack of confidence is, is concerning, but um, go on. I mean, most of the time it's just something fun to do, but oh, okay. I believe I believe in Crumble, and he'll he'll figure out a good plan soon, eventually. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here, let me ask you this. Here, <clears throat> let me uh, let me crouch down a little bit, or, or lean over the, the the counter. Um, if you had to come up with you know you know you know maybe something a little bit uh schemy or uh you know something to do on 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 my side of things, what do you think you would end up doing? Is there is there something specific that you think would be fun or? Uh, dangerous or get you know get us get us rich because clearly getting rich is is obviously you know that, that would be great because then i could pay crimbo and he'd actually you know do his job that would uh, that would be pretty convenient i have the perfect scheme oh do you yeah do you remember when they started putting gold leaf on everything and they would just make like that super fancy expensive ice cream or like, like yeah. gold leaf pizza you yeah, gotta yeah, yeah. get one of those on your menu. You know oh. that stuff's not that expensive. You just you make it sound like it's super fancy and expensive, but Oh, okay. Do like do you know how to work with gold leaf at all? I actually have some, I just haven't haven't used it yet, because I was I, I I didn't really know how to use it. Um I don't I I've only used it once, but it was for my slime, so and you I put just gold kinda... leaf on your slime and then ate it. Yeah, it was very fancy treat. It was a very oh gosh! Well, here, um, why don't I? Why don't I? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's such a great idea. Does is it, does anyone want a want a gold leaf latte? Uh, it's leaf it's latte. A, it's guaranteed to uh, heighten your day. And then you just gotta get on like Instagram and TikTok oh, and oh. start getting those like pictures going. Getting right, people right. hyped for it. Right, 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 right. Well, I mean, I am, I am, in fact, on the the talk of ticks, uh, because uh, oh. you know our, our cameraman Steve. You can see he's, you know, he's don't don't look at Steve. Don't look directly at him. The, the oh. camera's not oh. there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but you know, you know, know. Uh, things things are being recorded, and uh, whew, uh, it's getting a little hot in here. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> And you know, with, with with Steve, you know, he makes sure that the uh, the videos uh, we, we get them we get them out there, and uh, that we get to expose ourselves not not literally expose ourselves. I that, I try, I promise you, the jacket was just I'm hot. <clears throat> uh, we get to show off our content and our fun times with uh, the customers and the drinks and the cool things uh, to new people and bring new people in to buy uh, fancy um, de aging gold leaf lattes. Yes, yes, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's, it's a brilliant. It's very a brilliant marketable. Plan. I yes. think that was. This is gonna double your profits. I guarantee it. Double my profits. And, you know, yeah, and eventually it's gonna pay back all this money I owe you. Cause I mean, that's a billion dollar idea I just gave you. So, you're welcome. You know. I'll come here for a second. Come here this way. What? Let's come here what? for a second. Come here. On. Come here. What are we doing? Come here. Here. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hold on. Get. Uh, watch. Watch the tail. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Mm. Uh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm. So. Uh. All right. Well. Here. Follow me. Here. Come on. Oh. Where. What was it? going on now? Come on. All right. So since since you had this idea, you know, you have this. You have this great idea of showing me like you know talking about the gold leaf and everything uh, i figure why, why don't we uh why don't we make some as, as kind of an example and we can show them the the, the de-aging process and how amazing just this this new fancy top of the line product works oh this film's brilliant yes. yeah yeah okay so first we're gonna need uh the gold leaf uh i think it's i think it's right under you and i'll, I'll get some oh, uh some okay. coffee ready for the latte okay okay all right cool here we go oh Oh. Okay, I'm gonna assume this like little baggie of shininess is the gold leaf. That, so. That's it. Yeah. Uh, is it gold? 
Yes. Okay, good. Uh, if it's silver, leave it there. If it's gold, we're good. Okay. Ooh, silver lattes. Uh, it's it's not what you think it is. Okay, let me get the coffee. Oh. Um, Evil Adam guy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, I don't think we have trash leaf, but I'll promise you that the gold leaf will make you feel like trash. Uh, de-aged de trash. Of course. Recycling. Yeah. It'll make you feel like recycling. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I've got the coffee. You got the gold leaf? Yes, I okay. got it. Okay, so we're gonna here, we're gonna we're gonna put the put the put it all together. Oh shit! Uh oh, I, I dropped the oh fuck! Okay. Uh, it's it, it's all over the floor. What do we do? The gold the gold leaf it's like it's like shriveling up. Oh! I spilled the coffee all over it. Oh wait wait wait! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh what? Can we we get. We can scoop it back into the cup. It's okay, still okay, fine. okay, okay, okay. Wait, here, let me get it. Let me get another cup. Uh, just, just try and keep out as many of the uh the, the ceramic glass shards as you can. Okay. 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 Are you okay. sure that's not gonna add to the flavor? Oh, I, I mean, if you think it will, we can sell it for more. We could just say it's an extra spicy yeah. latte. Yeah, 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 extra spicy latte. Okay, okay, okay. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, that looks that looks like a full cup. All right. Ah. Order up for the most special. A uh, spicy gold leaf latte in uh -huh. existence. Who Give me the ceramic. <laughs> Apparently, Evil Anon guy wants to try it, and they did what? pay 100 bits, so. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. there you go. Come on down, Evil uh, Anon guy. Thank you for being our, our guinea pig. Customer. Oh, our customer. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're, you're good at this. See? You're going you're gonna to work off your debt in no time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's. Pretty much just this one cup, right? I don't have to do any more work after this. No, no. There's there's tons of work you have to do. Do you know how much damage you caused back there? Mm, I didn't think it was. Uh, this is an expensive cup of coffee, though. I mean, it was a hundred bits worth of coffee, but was it a million dollars worth of coffee? Hmm. Well, it's not only the coffee. It's the idea. I'm an ideas person. Oh, it's the idea of breaking a cup of coffee and scooping in wet gold leaf, gold leaf off the floor. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I see. You you, you are, of, in fact, an entrepreneur of the generation. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, okay. You know what? It, it, I mean, it looks like Evil Anon Guy liked it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to say that you are you are, you are are good here. I'm going to lead you back, back around the front. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, just let me let me scoot. Watch the tail. Come on. No. That thing has like a mind of its own. Oh. It kind of does, honestly. But oh. That's, I mean... uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh -huh. There we go. Okay. All right, there we go. Sorry, just had to had to squeeze past you. No, no, no. It's fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, yes. Perfect, and it looks like there's another one here. Uh, let me let me go ahead and make that. Thank you for the hundred bits again, Evil Anon guy. Really appreciate it. Here, I'll go ahead and start working on that. Um, is, is there anything that you you maybe wanted to know about this place? I don't even did I even introduce myself? Oh. I feel like I never said my name or said what the name of this place was. I to you. I'm thinking you were just coffee guy. Coffee, coffee guy. guy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, while while I'm while I'm making this, why don't what? I guess, I guess it's not really making, it's more like scooping it up off the floor. Here, here you yeah. go, evil add-on guy. I hope you enjoy all the extra crunchy ceramic in there for you. Mm -hmm. We worked really hard on it. <laughs> but anyway, hi, uh, p &E. uh, My name's Roy. Hello, Roy. Thank hi. you so much again for letting me come in your restaurant, your fancy establishment. Yeah, have I all the free treats well, I uh, want. It's not it's not as much free. I mean you you did at least contribute to an idea that got you know got us a little bit of traction got us a little bit of money mm -hmm. You know you you worked those off you gotta you gotta take credit for the work that you do I mean <laughs> You don't sound convinced I mean, I know I'm like super hard working and everything. Oh, of so course. I'm, of course. Yes I'll take credit for the work. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm glad. I'm and glad I, I can convince I'm you. I'm so glad that we we've come to an agreement that all the damages have been are paid off now. I mean, I, I guess I could you know take out another contract, find another demon to work for. 
I I'm sure I could get it fixed. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> like I said, we've got tons of weird clientele that come around here for uh, things that I can't speak on Twitch.television because they're, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, we do we do handle, of course, plenty of coffee and things of that nature. And like yeah. I said, uh, this this is the cup of dusk. This is my my cafe, uh, and I hope that you're enjoying it. As you can see, we get a nice little view of the sunset in the background, and yeah, uh, yeah it's it's a uh, relaxing and a place where people can come to be themselves, uh, yeah. regardless of who they are on the outside, without worrying about judgment. So glad there's a good place to relax and for. After a long day of dumpster diving, it is good to come back here and just eat all those pastries <laughs> off the floor. <laughs> well, I can tell you that if I ever have more pastries that fall on the floor, I will make sure I call you first before they even go into the dumpster. Thank you. I'll, I'll be sure to get your contact info later so we can we can set that up. You can be like the, uh, the, the rotating customer that comes in like before the end of the night and takes all the things that will go bad. Oh, thank you. There you that's go. A, that's a sweet gig. I mean, it'll probably reduce the amount of cost on the, the like the, the trash collection too. Oh Th yeah. That's a thing, right? Oh yeah. Oh okay, okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, Palgaville's kind of angry about that because you know I don't want I don't like trash trash pickup people's coming around my dumpster trying to take away my good stuff. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Like I live there. You can't just take my house. And <laughs> it is. It is quite. Out. It's quite literally your home in that sense. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Uh, well, all right. Uh, the question comes to you now. Uh, what What is uh What is something that you might be uh, interested in uh, about this place? Do you have any questions for me? Questions about how this place works? Oh, I guess. Hmm. What made you decide to do a coffee shop? Oh, well, that's a fun question. Well, uh, I guess we've seen plenty of bars and clubs and things like that in this in, in this area as, as i'm sure you know we even have you know the the arcade you know where crimbo works um but i felt like we didn't have a lot of cafes we didn't have a lot of places where you could go and kind of like you know you fall into a booth fall into a chair and just kind of like <sighs> like relax at the end of the day and get like or 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 sometimes beginning of the day but i wanted you know end of the day sunset no yeah i used to have to just get the old powdered cappu the cappuccino powder from the 7-Eleven before you guys came around town. Well, I could definitely hope that uh, I'm a little bit of an improvement from 7-Eleven's uh, powdered oh, cappuccino. Yeah. Yes, a lot. <laughs> and it looks like the drinks that we made tonight were, were very much a hit so far. The ceramic, delicious, oh. spicy, very good. All right. I guess you know a thing or two about your drinks and, and maybe the clientele that you bring in. Yes. <laughs> I sometimes I think consider myself a little bit of a foodie. A little bit of a foodie. I mean, I could tell by the way we were talking about, you know, McDonald's and Taco Bell and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Uh, All I figured, fine establishments. All fine, fine dining. Fine dining. Five, mm -hmm. five, five Michelin star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remy, Remy himself would uh, would definitely enjoy those. But uh, regardless. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else that you were curious of? Maybe I could, uh, you know, I kind of give you a little bit of a tour. You saw the kitchen already, I'm, I know. Uh, but, uh, you know, we saw the back of the counter, you saw up here. Hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what's in the, those canisters above the, the, you know, the cups over here? Oh, over here? Well, these yeah. are coffee beans. That way I can roast them. Ah, uh, okay. You know? Okay. But, you roast your own beans? Yeah, yeah, I try, I try to. I try to make my own blends and things like that so I can keep it, uh, it, you know, it's extra work, but, like, it makes the quality higher, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta add a little bit of, uh, extra work. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, they, they are <clears throat> a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit hard to <laughs> get sometimes. Uh, I have a step stool in the back, uh, but, you know, I, I try to not always use it because, like, I, I get made fun of sometimes because, you know, rabbits hopping and, and things like that. And it tends to, to not oh, work out as much. That's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, it's not cute. I'm manly and tough. <laughs> See, know. I just like to befriend taller people and then I make them grab all the stuff for me. That's that's what's happened with me. You're the first guest that's been shorter than me in this entire place. <laughs> like, I kid you not. And I've had some guests here. Everyone's wow. been taller than me. Which has been pretty convenient, honestly. The shorties <laughs> representing at the cup of dusk. I mean, you are here. 
Ah, uh, finally. 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 Finally, the representation that we deserve. The, the representation we needed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but speaking of representation, I see somebody uh, slipped into the chat that we were talking about a little bit before. Ah, hi, Krimbo. Hello, Krimbo. We were talking about you. I bet your ears were uh, were burning or you were sneezing, whatever the, <laughs> how, however that thing goes. But here, <clears throat> let me uh, let me give you a little bit of space. Ooh. But yeah, we've got tons of drinks here. We serve tons of things uh, in terms of pastries, coffee, cakes, things of that nature. Lots of fun times. Yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I think it's pretty relaxing here too. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, we try to have that that uh, that nice little, you know, the sunset, the little jazz, the coffee beans roasting, a little bit of conversation, things like mm -hmm. that. Now, what do you like to do to relax? Cause I know you're talking about this place is a good place for relaxation. Uh, so what is like your kind of go-to when you like to relax? Oh, well, in terms of relaxing, honestly, I like talking with people. Uh, I feel oh. like I feel like kind of like opening up and exploring yourself uh, can be very cathartic uh, and, and kind of like help you relax. So talking about, you know, your passions, things that you're excited about and maybe hobbies or something like that. It can it can really help not only get to know people better, uh, but help you understand yourself better, which the cafe has definitely helped me understand myself a lot better, especially with, uh, you know, people like Crimbo, for example, coming in or, uh, you know, I've had, I've had some, uh, like, like I said, I've had a, a literal goddess, uh, a half goddess, you know, people, people like that have, have definitely helped me, uh, come out of my shell a little bit. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> no, no, no. I get that. I get that. I think ever since I started talking with a lot of more people in the neighborhood and everything and in the whole uh, VTubing community. I feel like I've been opening up a lot more and I'm like learning stuff about myself. I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't know before. Any Anything specific that you want to share maybe that you feel comfortable talking about? Yeah, I've kind of learned to embrace my gremlin qualities. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah, yeah de definitely embracing more of who you are is definitely a good thing. Yeah, like I will admit, like I was a little ashamed of for you. Like I'm just like a, a smelly little possum. And I was like, well, not <laughs> many people probably like that. But no, I've met so many people that are actually into that. So. Well, it's funny that you mentioned the the possum part of things. So we were, we were talking about content and things like that before. So I have, I you know Steve you know does all the recordings and everything. Um, mm -hmm. I think, funny enough, around the time that Crimbo started, maybe, maybe you know, maybe the his his stomach rumbling, uh, you know, brought in uh, the riffraff that he's trying to keep out. T definitely that, all the all the noise and everything. <clears throat> uh, anyway, <laughs> but but on TikTok, for some reason, I have literally a, a person that keeps like screaming, asking for, um, asking for a rat to come to the cafe. A rat. A rat, specifically a rat. Wow. And and while you're you know you're not a rat, I think you are the yeah. closest thing I've had so far. <laughs> Cause yeah, definitely. I'm not a rat. I'm a no, no. I know. Deal. Yeah, no, I know. But I was I was saying I think you are the closest thing that I've had to to a rat to come in. See, most places wouldn't want rats in their in their business. It's kind of shocking that you have some customers that are in, that want that in their in their go-to coffee place. I mean, you'd be surprised. Some people just want some, you know, some different type of company, somebody to keep them, uh, I guess, occupied at night. And maybe, maybe rats are the thing that they're looking for. Hmm. There's a flavor for everyone. <laughs> Something like that. And like I said, we try not to judge here. This is definitely a place where, uh, you know, people can be themselves and embrace the things that they enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peony's not a rat, though. Oh, I know. I was just saying. <laughs> She's the closest thing we've had to a rat. 100%. <laughs> oh, I do I see that we have a little bit of a, a stretch redeem. Would you like to do some stretching with me? Oh, yes. yes okay, here I we go. Yeah, that feels good. Feel the burn. Stretch it out. When in doubt. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, but thank you guys all for being here. I hope you've all been having a fantastic night. Uh, so is there anything that you've been up to recently, Peony? Like, uh, you know, aside from raiding my kitchen, raiding dumpsters, uh, mm -hmm. ranking fast food in, in the most absolute uh, 
magnificent tier list possible. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah? I spend most of my time playing video games at my dumpster. And I like to play primarily like old games, like really mm. old games, like retro games. I'm like looking for some of the weirdest stuff. I'm really into, uh, what is it? The FMVs, which I'm not even sure what FMV stands for. Do you remember Full back- Full motion video. Full motion video. Yeah. yeah. I love that the, 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 like the low quality videos that were like condensed and packaged in like the old games and they're, they're super goofy and- Oh, like in, like, in, like in Fallout, like the original Fallout. I've never actually played the original Fallout, but I remember seeing, like, yeah, the original Fallouts were, put, like, one and two were, like, actually pretty funny looking. Yeah, very much so. And Yeah, they had a good room humor to them. They've, they've aged not badly, funny enough. Yeah, I, I think I they might actually they... fit you. Like, I think that would be fun for you to play because they are I old and they're goofy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. I like Vegas, New Vegas a lot, which I hear is a little bit closer to the humor of their originals. So. Oh, I've never played New Vegas. Maybe I should give it a go. Ooh, yeah, you should definitely give New Vegas a go. That could be fun. I like that. I like that. Oh, but it looks like but... we do have some customers that are happy to see us. We appreciate you guys being here as well. Yeah. Um, thank and you, thank you. someone mentioned, I guess they, they, they were watching your you know, playthrough of older stuff. There was a game with completely stolen assets? What What is that about? Ooh, yeah, we've recently played that at the dumpster recently. It, it's called Limbo of the Lost. And limbo? It's actually Limbo. Oh, Limbo. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, wow, Limbo a, got it's lost. It's so funny mm -hmm. because the people that were making it, originally they pitched this idea back in the 90s that they wanted to make this game, but they wanted to make it for Atari. Oh. Or maybe it wasn't Atari. Maybe it was like a, an Amiga. But it was a, definitely an old console system. Yeah. That was pretty much like no one wanted to make games for that anymore. Like mm -hmm. We were moving on to like PlayStation stuff. And it's now. So what they had to do is they just started making a new game. And um, I think it was originally going to still be like a PC release. It was going to be... Um, uh, it was actually around the time like right around like a couple years after like oblivion came out like, oh that wow that's girl. late that's a yeah, big that's a yeah. big jump into that's like a 30 year gap yeah it's wild Ooh. so they made this game and uh they released it and everything <laughs> and they got sued because apparently the majority of the stuff in the game is taken from other games so like they oh. have backgrounds from oblivion they got backgrounds from like thief they got like a little all times of stolen assets there was some weird stuff from just like world of warcraft and even like beetlejuice wow. like just wait like beetlejuice the movie yeah what? <laughs> it was, i think it was actually like a gargoyle that was featured on the poster or something but yeah they just pretty much took like everything they could from anywhere else and i think the only original stuff to the game was the character models, which are complete garbage. They're super scary to look at. <laughs> uh, it's it's a hot mess of a game. And that's my, I love me some good hot messes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like those are, those are the types of games that you especially enjoy. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, fantastic, fantastic. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and grab another cup of coffee for myself. Oh, yeah. I think I am all coffeeed out. I can only take so much caffeine. You're going to take so much caffeine. Yeah. You got to build your tolerance, get... clearly. No, no, no. If I get too nervous, you know, you get, you end up like kind of, kind of freaking out playing dead. <laughs> I got to limit my caffeine. Ah, okay. 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 I see. I see. I see. Well, yeah. are there, are there any types of drinks that you, uh, like could drink forever? I'm actually a big tea fan. Ooh, okay. Well, here, here that's a new conversation we could have. What what type of tea is your favorite kind of tea, Peony? Mm, so, I do, I do like black tea. Like, Earl Grey is my favorite, but obviously that has a lot of caffeine. Mm -hmm. So, I, have to, I usually get the decaf for Earl Grey. And I like a little bit of milk and a little bit of honey in it. And uh, sometimes you can make tea lattes with it, you know? Ooh, okay. Um, like chai, chai tea lattes. Yeah, I love me some chai tea. Like oh, chai really is good. my favorite. Super good. I love boba tea. I mean, okay. that's kind of, I feel like that 
is kind of a cliche at this point. Like, oh, VTuber loves Boba. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> but I mean, Boba's good, dang it. I love the chewiness of the to tapioca. 100%. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like cool and refreshing and deliciously sweet. Sometimes it's a little too sweet. I get mine of the reduced sugar sometimes. Just the, the tea in general or the tapioca to be re reduced sugar? Well, do you know how they usually make the tapioca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the tapioca, they kind of boil it and they um, they usually cook it in a sugar mixture. Yep. So you automatically already have the sugar from the boba, but sometimes like most, some places will add sugar to the drink itself before they add the boba. So then it's like way too much sweetness going on. Oh yeah, because they probably make the drink the same regardless of whether they put boba in it. So when they put the boba in it, it's sweetened. Oh, I see, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, so usually I request, don't add the extra sweetness. You can add the boba, that's gonna be sweet enough. But you can, but yeah. I like and that. I Mm -hmm. Well, I, I I like the, the the talk about it. I mean, I, I I could go with normal sweetness, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think it just you know it's everyone's preferences, and but that's something to consider when you like. And it's also I think it's where do you get your boat like your tea from? Sometimes it's gonna be different between each store, you know. Well, how, like the how way are... you make a latte here, maybe the way you make like a caramel latte here is completely different from like another cafe next. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I yeah. I only use the most uh, you know, the most pristine and the most amazing tea related practices here because I'm mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the best. Yes, yes. Yeah, cl clearly. <clears throat> uh, clearly, that's why I come here. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha it has to be the reason why you've been uh, raiding my dumpster in my kitchen now. Yes. Yeah, yes. definitely. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't mind my glasses falling again. I, I promise it was totally intentional. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> um, any other hobbies, though? I mean, like, we've talked about gaming, we've talked about, you know, some of the drinks and some of the food that you've liked and everything, but uh, anything you else like to do in your free time? I noticed uh, we had some new customers that had some uh, pretty peculiar names, and I wasn't sure if they were from your neck of the woods, something uh, yeah, Common yeah. Rider related. Mm, so, yeah, Evil Anon, I, it's a familiar place. I've seen Mr. Rue's familiar. Mm. Nekoa, I see a lot of people. I see like a lot of the litter bugs is what I like to call them. Litter bugs, okay. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of familiar faces here. Which, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you guys. I, uh, most people know that like I'm really, really, really into Digimon. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I we I like the Digimon game. I like specifically Digimon World One from the original PS. But I I also um I like some of the digital pets because you know Digimon was originally like Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. It was yep. actually from the same yep. line. It was just like a Tamagotchi, but it was meant for boys. Yep. <laughs> which I had one um of the old ones, which they they actually recently released them. They look like little bricks. Like little bricks is what people usually call them, but they mm. have like a brick texture to them. And instead of like an egg, like a Tamagotchi, it's just like a little rectangle. And oh. you got your little monsters in there. But um, yeah, I though you can collect those too. I don't have that many that I collect, but uh, it's something I want to like continue grabbing, getting more of because they keep releasing new colors, new Digimons to put in them and everything. It's so cool. It's yeah, really cool. I think it's pretty cool to see like Digimon seems like it's on the uprise again. Um, yeah. Which is really interesting. Like, yeah, they're hitting a lot of anniversaries. I think people are getting really nostalgic for it. Which yeah. Always help. Like, I know like Pokemon has always had like a very vocal like fan, fan base. base. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think it's primarily because they have consistent releases for the games. Like a lot of Digimon games were not great, to be honest. Oh, hundred percent. There is like a some good ones. There's some really good ones, but oh, that reminds me. There was um, God, what was Cyber was a Cy It wasn't Cyber Squad, was it? What? It was like Cyber Stories or something like that. Mm, Cyber Sleuth. Cyber Sleuth. That was it. That was it. Yeah, it's so I, I didn't get to play all of it, but like the combat felt like of modern JRPGs. And yeah, I, was, yeah. I was really enjoying the combat aspect of it. I, I think most I do want to go back and play it. Yeah, most people I talk to compare it to Persona. So it's like a mm. Digimon themed Persona. Well, it's definitely not a bad thing. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost completely missed it. Uh, evil Anon guy, thank you for another hundred bits. Um, do, 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 uh, do you know what a, a, a salty lane is? A blind salty, salty latte? Oh, salty latte. What makes it blind though? Uh, I, uh, I could do it blindfolded or, well, I guess I don't have my oh. glasses. So it's kind of, it's kind of like that anyway. So yeah, uh, well, I, I'll, I'll get, I'll get right. On, yeah, I, I have no glass. So that's what it was. Okay, I'll get, I'll get right on that. Um, why don't you, uh, maybe tell me about your favorite Digimon game? You said Digimon World One, right? Or any others yeah. maybe that you're excited make sure, about? Make sure you don't scrimp on the salt on that lot. I, I've got plenty of salt. You, you didn't wear me out of that one. Yeah, I don't typically eat salt by itself. So. No, we go to McDonald's for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me give and get, get this going. But you're asking about, uh, what was the question again? I apologize. Oh, um, any other types of Digimon games you like? Because you said that your favorite's Digimon World for the PS1. Yeah, yeah. But the PS1 has the Digimon World. Uh, Cyber Sleuth's pretty good. I never actually beat Cyber Sleuth, so I want to go back to that one. And I think, uh, there's one that was originally I on the PSP, but now it's on PS4. And it's called, uh, Digimon World Next Order. And it's basically oh. the same concept as the original PS1 game, which was kind of an extension of raising a pet, but like in an RPG setting. Mm -hmm. So you you have your Digimon and it has a lifespan and you have to get it through its evolutions before it hits a certain amount of days in which you die and then reincarnate oh. as your new baby. But you have to re-raise all over again. So that's kind of, it's kind of a difficult loop actually because you you get sent back so many stages every time the life expectancy hits. Wow, that's uh, kind of spooky <laughs> as yeah, a gameplay it, loop. <laughs> it's really fun though, it's really cool because then you're just like, oh, I have to hurry up and train my little guy so he can be big and strong and I can go to this <laughs> certain part of the map that uh, I will get demolished if I try to bring a baby <laughs> into this area. I have to make sure they get big. Oh, I totally feel <laughs> that. It's really fun. So what Next Order did is they gave you two Digimon. So yeah, you've got two babies now, and oh. you can raise them. Uh, you can. Act, they start out with. Uh, they start out at the same time, but you can like stagger them mm -hmm. if you want to, where you can get like one to be a big guy and one to be a baby, so you always consistently have like a an adult stage. Uh, for... That's not a bad idea. I like that plan. Yeah. I like that plan. So that makes it a little bit easier to get through the maps. And then it's got a cool, pretty fun little RPG story too. It's a really good game. Okay, okay, okay. I'll definitely take your word for it. And if I have, you know, free, free time at, at, at some point in my life, <laughs> I will, yeah, I will exactly. I'll try and play it. Uh, yeah. Good luck finding the free time. <laughs> yeah, that, that tends to be... Kind, kind mean, of the when, big part. When you're busy, when you're busy with Twitch streaming and running a cafe, and it's like, yeah, yeah, it all piles up, you know. That and all the stuff that, uh, you know, I, I you know, Steve's doing all the shooting right now, but you, you, you know, I, we have all the the stuff that we're getting on TikTok and uh, mm -hmm. YouTube and Twitter and things like that. We, we're trying to make sure that uh, we're getting everything out there, that everything's peachy keen and everyone's enjoying themselves, like tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys are all having fun. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now that being said, um, was there anything else that you felt particularly interested in talking about? Maybe some big events you have coming up or, uh, some big plans, some big projects you're working on? Mm, well, honestly, I don't have any major events coming up. I'm just having a lot of good fun playing some weird old games, some indie games, some demos. We had all those demos that came out on Steam recently. Mm -hmm. From a lot of indie developers, which I thought was such a cool, really cool event. I like that they like highlighted a bunch of smaller development teams for video games. Mm -hmm. That was super cool. And they had, um, so I got a bunch of demos when we've been playing through a couple of those on stream. But uh, most of the time, yeah, I just like to play what I want to play. Nice. Well, that's that awesome. Makes, yeah. And I like to play like weird old stuff. So that's kind of, I sometimes wonder like, would, do people want to see me playing like new stuff? Like, you know, like what's the big one right now? Elden Ring. Elden something. Ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, sometimes you just want to, you want that good nostalgia trip or like to laugh at a weird old 
media and I, that's the kind of stuff I like personally. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, it sounds like you found your, your, what makes you happy. And mm -hmm. that is definitely a big part of, of doing this type of content. So I'm happy that what you're doing is making you happy. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing to do in life. It's just like, you find your passions and your, your interests and you, you just enjoy yourself. You oh know? yeah, definitely. Most definitely. And and like I know that I like to roll around in garbage and play garbage <laughs> games, so I'm living the life right now. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to hear that, and it sounds like uh, you have a bunch of great individuals in your community, uh, and I'm very fortunate that you are willing to share them all with me tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the litter bugs are the best. <laughs> well, thank you to you, and thank you to the litter bugs. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to say in uh, in closing? I think. Uh, we can uh, get a, get a, ready to uh, wrap things up here. Sure, sure. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me, and thank you for sharing me with your community, Reza, guys. Yeah. Really fun. And I will definitely be back for more matcha lattes and caramel <laughs> sauce and any pastries you have in the kitchen. Well, I will help myself. You don't need it. You don't need it. No worries. I know I'm welcome here all the time to eat yourself. <laughs> I was I was gonna say something along those lines, you know, but mm -hmm. I, I figured, you know, I would, I would let you, you know, maybe uh, ask uh, first. But but I guess I, mean, I guess not. I mean, there's no need to ask me to come back. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> okay, okay, I see you. I see you. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was great getting to know you and understand some of your passions more. And uh, I especially love to talk about Digimon with you sometime. That sounds like a fun yeah. time. Yes, yeah. I'm always <laughs> up for good conversations when it comes to Digimon. Okay. All right. Well, uh, great. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody in chat, and uh, I will. I will come out to to say goodbye in just a few minutes. If you if you want to give me a moment to. Uh, let everybody go. But uh, if you guys are interested in finding uh, Puny uh, in, their own, in their own content, in their own setting, be sure to type exclamation point collab in chat. Uh, you'll be able to see their Twitter and their Twitch. Thank you, Kyle, for hitting that. And uh, yeah, be sure to check them out. Yeah, I'll just go back to the kitchen. I'll help oh. myself. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. Just don't make too much of a mess, okay? <laughs> no uh. promises. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate all the support, and I hope you guys had fun tonight. It's great getting to know new people, and uh, Puny is definitely a handful. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to work on how I handle, you know, having someone steal all of my food and things to make drinks with. But anyway, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and raid uh, another comfy stream. So we're going to be looking at Junk. Uh, for those of you that know him, uh, he does some really fun uh combination high energy but also comfy streams at the same time it's a bunch of stupid it's a bunch of nonsense it's a bunch of hilariousness and a bunch of good quality stuff so he's playing uh i believe animal crossing right now so we're gonna go ahead and raid junk uh and if you ooh, there we go uh if you guys are interested in participating in the raid be sure to type uh, or use the following raid command. Uh, and if you're not a sub, but you want to participate in the, participate in the raid anyway, be sure to use the secondary raid command. Guys, thank you again for being here. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to be playing some Dead by Daylight uh, and trying to be as wholesome and as ridiculously nice as possible because that game is full of toxicity. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. Okay, we are out, and I'm just going to say hi to Junk while we raid him. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you so much. Of course, thank you. I apologize so much about my the internet. That was kind of ex unexpected. I'm so sorry. You're totally fine. It happens. Yeah. <laughs>